Good afternoon. I am trying to do my best to keep up with the vlogs. I spent the morning out, well, the early afternoon out in the sun, enjoying the sun, and then now I just came in and took a shower, and I have to pick Haley up from the airport shortly. But I was just gonna go over what I use for, for my skin moisturizer. I will use something with vitamin C in it during the day, and then I top it with something with sunscreen. And I've been liking this Aveeno one with SPS, SPF 15. Some people like a stronger SPF, but we also have this Neutrogena one, and it's a hydrating gel cream, and that's SPF 25. So I just use whatever one I feel like my skin needs at the time. And then sometimes after my shower, I will use this L'Oreal Leave-In Serum to keep my hair hydrated for the ends and lengths. So you use two pumps of that and you just rub it in between your hands and then run your fingers through your hair with the serum in your hands. So that's pretty much what I do after my showers. And then I was hoping to maybe do some makeup practicing at some point today. And I want to paint my toenails with a really light pink I have. I think I used last summer. I can't believe it's already almost been a year of vlogging, a year of a day with tea, but this is the light pink color that I want to use on my toenails. So I think I'm probably gonna do that before I go to the airport, but I don't know if I'll have time for anything else. I also got this thermal brush. I've been seeing them all over TikTok lately, and I always have to try out the new trends. So, I've only used it once and then the power went out pretty much as soon as I started using it. And I was like, oh no, they sent me a broken one. But turned out the power was just went out. And when Katie was here, she used it to straighten her hair and I think it worked pretty well. So I'm excited to try that out. Cause you can use it to straighten, curl, sort of give yourself like a at home blow look. So I'm excited to play around with that. I've been using this Dove deodorant because it's not too strong of a smell. Cause I like to wear a perfume and I don't want the smell of the deodorant to overpower the perfume and today I'm going to wear Dolce & Gabbana light blue I think it's such a good summer clean sort of citrusy smell I am going to go with a dress today it's really hot out probably this one I want something with some pink in it but I'm in dire need to go through my clothes like it's bad and some of these pieces like this one I've had for several years and I feel like I've gotten my wear out of it so I need to just get rid of some stuff and like make room for the new stuff all right so I got on our little dress of the day and it's just a cute little dress that I got from Fashion Nova to add on our little perfume and I'm gonna use this wet brush to wick out some of the excess moisturizer in my hair. I want to try to create this look that I did on myself last May, but I don't remember how I did it, so we'll see. I'm gonna use this matte foundation by Collab in the shade Golden 4.5. I actually like to wet my beauty blender and just put a little bit in each spot and I find wetting the beauty blender gives it more of a lighter coverage And then I'll put like a little bit of a pump onto the blender just to go over everything. And I like this shade because it's not too dark. It doesn't give off any orange tinge. It's just really a natural, pretty much the same color as my 
skin is already. I'm gonna go in with the Collab Concealer. It's a liquid concealer, it is no flaws, and it, that is in the shade beige slash tan for slash five. And I like to put that on top of the eyelid. There and there. And then I do up the nose. in the middle of the forehead to brighten it up there and a little dab on the chin and around the nose I'm just gonna add a little extra dab just to right there where I had a little blemish that's just starting to heal and just blend that in and then around the nose or wherever you feel like you get some redness and then I'll just do my dabs up the nose and blend this middle forehead section out and then under the eye lift the eye and then I just find this makes a good base for the eyeshadow stick to all right and now we'll move on to I like to use the NYX Wonder Stick. It has highlight and contour, one for each end. And I use the shade Universal Light, WSR02. And I just do the classic. Typically. On both sides. than the other one. I'll try to blend it up and see if I can fix it. So you just blend it into the hairline. Some people prefer to use brushes. I always feel like I am more successful with the Beauty Blender sponge. Blend, blend, blend. And the same thing on the other side. Like so. Then I'm gonna go in with the brush for the blush. And I like to use this pinky one and I'm gonna use this fluffier brush. And then further blend it out with the sponge. A little more subtle and a little bit more yeah I think that's good
that's good like that. we can always go back and make more adjustments and blend more at the end now run this maybelline build a brow in shade 260 deep brown it's very natural looking use the other end just to blend that in settle it out that now i'm going to use this palladio eyeshadow palette and it is the ultimate pro shadow palette so it has lots of neutral colors i really like it and i'm gonna go with probably this pinkish color and maybe this brownish pink all right I think I have a fluffier eyeshadow brush in my bag. I just didn't bring it in here and I don't feel like going through my bag and looking for it. But I'm gonna use this pinkish, more pinkish one and then I'm gonna put some of this brownish pink on the outer corner a little bit. And then maybe I'll use this lighter one just in the inner corner just to brighten it slightly. I think that's good like that. Now I need to repeat it to the other eye. I always find eyeshadow without the mascara always looks a little bit strange but We got both eyes looking about the same. I'm just gonna try to do a really small wing with this little eyeliner marker. It is by Palladio as well. It's Liner Obsessed 2 in 1 Ink Liner Marker in shade black. I really don't do much of a wing because I have quite hooded eyes. I'm also not very good at it because I don't do it very often. So hopefully they're at least somewhat even. Again, I always think it looks weird until we add the mascara. And I got it all over my fingers. We'll see if the mascara fixes it because I feel like this side is just not doing what that side is. Before I forget, let's add a little bit of the Wonder Sticks highlight just to like to add a little to the nose. A little tiny bit to the middle of the forehead and right up here as well as right on the end of the brow and I just blend that with the beauty blender Now I actually forgot my mascara out in my purse. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Pink Wink 134. It's just a really pretty pink. because I did a really pink lip in the inspiration photo. And then I'm gonna fill that in with the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in the shade Mica, which is 620.
and that's really pretty shimmery pink lip. I always like to do this to the lip too. Just to get the excess lip product off. Edge was going a little wild. There we go. So I'm just gonna go grab my mascara to finish it off. All right, I'm going to actually seal in my lip with this Oh My Gloss by Rimmel. It's just a clear lip gloss. Shade 800, crystal clear. So, love a clear lip gloss. Then I'm going to do the Essence Lash Princess for Curl and Volume Black Mascara. And in my inspiration picture of myself, I was wearing fake lashes, but I'm just gonna do my natural lashes with mascara. Okay, so this is the finished look with the mascara. I'm not sure how the lighting is in here. Maybe I'll take you guys off the tripod and give you a better look. Makeup of the day. All right, so this is the final look with the makeup, the outfit, which is that dress, shoes, and I did two little braids in my hair. I'm back from the airport for a little while now. Ate my spaghetti for supper and this is my new comfy outfit of the evening. And I need to go shut off my lights downstairs. Luke is so sweet. Oh, I don't know if I caught that on the camera but the placa was out. Hello gorgeous. Ugh. Oh, reflection. Boobies! Loaches! Lately one of the rope fish has just been out and the other one's been hanging out in the tube. Shut these guys' lights off. Angels! Ooh. He looks really good lately with his stripes. Muffin and cupcake. I shut these guys' lights off. And my prized shrimp tank. Gotta shut the lights off of you as well. And then Linda hanging out on her sponge. They usually start to come out pretty quickly after I come around because they know I'm the food lady. Ooh, look at you. Woohoo! Getting so orange. You're just a little baby one. Some really gorgeous ones in there. Good boy. Spin. Good boy. Oh, he dropped it. Get that. Good job. Good boy. Pop. Good. Good boy. All right, guys. I'm just finishing emptying up the dishwasher and refilling it. Think that is all for today's vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet already what are you waiting for and i will see you in the next one 
Oh, also leave me a comment if you'd like. Bye, guys.